Spencer Rich to get it started. Grayson Carter, pitch number one of 2024, a swing and a miss. Up and in for ball four. Leadoff man reaches for FAU to begin the season. Trying to avoid putting two on base. Ball four, 3 1 pitch, misses away. Runners at first and second with nobody out. Two and two, runners go. Throw will go to second, and they cut down the runner. Adams trying to steal. Terrific throw from Alan Espinall for out number one. Payoff here. Ball four. Carter, 2 2 pitch. Popped up behind the plate. Espinall will have a play. Gives way to Maldonado, who makes the catch and a big second out. See Van Stein playing up the middle with Davis in short right. Doesn't make any difference. Strikeout as Grayson Carter sits down John Schroeder. The sophomore year be really interesting to see how he adjusts and see if he can repeat his same campaign as he did last year. A lot of good talent throughout this entire roster. Jack Bulger deep to center field. First pitch, one nothing Commodores. Rich ran out of room, and Jack Bulger leaves the yard. One hitter, one home run. And one pitch. Wow. I'm going to be honest, I thought that was a pop-up off the bat. It was up, and he just kept carrying and carrying and carrying. And that's why you put him in that, in that first spot. He's got pretty good wheels, but the big thing, I mean, he can swing it. And he's going to put the ball in play. Rocket left field on a line toward Alvarez. That's going to get up against the wall. Back to back, extra base hits for Vanderbilt to begin the game. A homer by Bulger and a double for RJ Austin. Runner in scoring position, no out, and Vanderbilt up a run. Soft liner toward the gap in left center, drops it in. They put up the stop sign for Austin coming around third, and the Commodores have him at the corners. Just to kind of continue on what he's doing um, in this offseason. The other way, we'll get a run home. Base hit for Espinal down the right field line. Kozul goes first to third as Austin crosses to make it 2 0. Down to third, FAU looks to get two. Out at second, and that's all. Troy Laneve steps in. That's where he likes to hit the ball, left center field. But a play for Alvarez will get a run home more than likely as Kozul tags and scores, and it's 3 0. Commodore is sack fly for Troy Laneve. And the count here, smash down the third. Nice play by Frank. Deals across to retire the side. 2-2 Two -two pitch, Carter to the leadoff man, Alvarez. Strike three. One and one. Bouncer, Carter, a good job to get to that one. And he throws out Gonzalez at first. You get Diaz and Vastine kind of acting as pseudo uh, leadoff guys just like this. Actually, you were a little bit late. If you actually caught that ball out in front, you would have hit it a little bit better. Line toward right center, gets down for a base hit. Bulger is two for two. He'll stop it first as Vastine goes first to third. Bulger in the first spot on opening day. Launch deep left. Alvarez gives it a look. That ball way out of here. R.J. Austin, a three-run shot. Vanderbilt doubles its lead at 6-0. And he was sitting on that one. Aggressive early in the count, and he got it. Dang. I think we'll see a lot more of that this season. Take a look. That's just a fastball right down the gut. Some quick hands. The ball got in a hurry. I think Alvarez knew as soon as that one left the bat. He wasn't coming back. One and two the count towards center and Austin. He's looked comfortable out there, but won't get to this one. Off the fence for extra bases for Schroeder to start the fourth, a leadoff double in the first knock of the day for FAU. Carter, another payoff pitch, misses inside. First two on base in the fourth. Number of guys in the pin on left field. That one bounces off the chest protector, and the wild pitch will allow everybody to move up. Start tacking away at that lead. Good A-B right there. The base is loaded. Right center field, FAU on the scoreboard. A gap shot off the bat of Gonzalez. Will score three runs as Schroeder, Frank, 
And between them, Alvarez all cross a three run double off the bat of Emilio Gonzalez. Line drive over the glove of Diaz. They wave the runner to the plate. Bulger's throw will go into second. FAU, a four spot in the fourth. Gonzalez comes across to score. RBI single by DeBose. Bunted first base side. Maldonado will apply the tag. The runner goes to second. I keep this ball down. Strikes out Adams for a big second out. Mike LaRocca trying to get FAU back within a run. Bouncer over the mound. Vanderbilt won't have a play in a big collision. They'll come to the plate, and the runner is out. Here's the end of the play. And out remains the call. Lead off walk. Really nice on Sunday. Fast dive through the hole on the right side. Diaz puts on the brakes at second. Ball bobbled by DeBose for a moment, but not enough for Diaz to advance. Left-hander Carter Holton. Diaz hanging around a little closer, and Bulger out on three pitches. It is different when you're looking out there in the outfield. You're so used to seeing Enrique Bradfield, but his normal glove. And then he goes in the outfield. And probably says, "Well, now I get to get like a really cool, fun color now." Off the glove of Frank. Run scores on a hard hit ball by R.J. Austin. Center field in the second. Austin goes in the first pitch, and he'll steal it easily. Cutters, knowing that ball's going to be a little slower. Got a good jump. This will be a key second out of this inning for FAU. 2-2. Adam out in front, and Vanderbilt is done in the fourth. With one out, the lefty Holton. Strike three. Dotted that outside corner. Got LaRue on a fly out to left. He struck out Schroeder looking. The one-two on its way and a swing and a miss by Brady. Make it to a home series in his first season here. She made it to the Arkansas series last year. Well, guess what, you guys? She has made it here for opening day. Launch is right field. Pretty deep. DeBose toward the corner. Watching. Gone. Fastine. Solo home run to start the sixth and make it eight to four, Commodores. It's a simple little swing there by Vastein. Snapped off that breaking pitch. Here's a one-two delivery that's lined up the middle for a base hit. Holton to Adams. Close but missed. Got to make sure that they're, they're throwing it right in there. Bouncer back in the hole. Vastein throws to third and it gets past Diaz. No chance for anybody to advance. Yeah, I definitely think Vastine had time to set his feet and you know try and turn that double play. FAU about to plate two runs on a single to left by LaRue. A two RBI knock gets him back within two. It's eight to six. Been able to get back within a couple runs at a couple different spots. Holton sees this one sent down the left field line by John Schroeder, the catcher for extra bases. One run will score as Schroeder slides into second with a double. It's a one-run game, eight to seven. Another one-two pitch, and Carter Holton made a pitch to sit down Brady for a big first down. Brings up Dalton Frank. This is going to tie the game and then some. Down the third baseline, Frank, a two RBI hit. It's a double. And for the first time today, Florida Atlantic leads. It's nine to eight. He goes up hacking early, gets a pitch to hit, puts it in play, and again, just right in the right spot on that left side. And FAU swinging a good bat here so far. Holton working out of the windup with a man at third. Nice play by Espinal. Ball's going to get past him. 2 2, had him out in front. It's been amazing over the last, I guess, five years seeing the amount of fields that are moving into the turf. Jaden Davis has his first hit as a Vanderbilt Commodore. A one-out single here in the seventh. Taken down for a pinch runner as Calvin Hewitt goes in. Forgotten his infield glove. He'll probably go out to, to second base. Hewitt taking off on the first pitch. And John Schroeder air and he's go. a throw into center field. It gets away all the way around to score as Hewitt to tie the game at nine. What a crazy play that was as Vanderbilt draws even. Uh, first of all, you had the, the air mail by Schroeder, and you have Rich and DeBose both said, you got it, I got it. Nope, 
none of us got it. And a new pitcher is Sawyer Hawks, the junior, Lakeland, Florida, his hometown. Opening day, end of a ball game, tie game. Appeal to first, guess he didn't go. Strikeout would be big and he got it. Had him leaning, but it got past Maldonado in a wild throw. Had some interesting. Uh, oh, now the runner off. takes off for third. They didn't pay any attention and sliding in safely is Spencer Rich. Off speed pitch, wasn't able to get it over. The payoff. Fly ball left field. Bulger to the track, and that ball's gone. Wow. Brando LaRue, a payoff pitch, and he gets the payoff. A two run homer to make it 11 to 9. Owls in the eighth. It was a heck of a minute bat. I mean, he's fouled off a ton of fastballs. Didn't swing at the curveball in a high pressure situation. Got a pitch to hit and an absolute missile out to left center. Take a look at the swing. That was with a lot on the line. Just very calm, collected. Swung on and missed. Fastball retires Schroeder. Smash back up the middle. Bulger has his third hit of the day. Vanderbilt not done just yet here in the eighth inning. Uh, Austin got to go to work. A breaking pitch. Line toward the gap in left center and down for a base hit. Tying runs on base as Austin records his fourth hit. Put it in the air the other three times. One and one. Foul ball. And Austin at first, a 2-2 pitch. Trying to come through. Hard hit, but right to the mound. Ostrander retires Kozial one to three. Thompson a little bit softer, 90-92. J.D. Thompson, 3-2 on its way. Got him. Espinal completes the strikeout. One out in the ninth. Espinal retired on strikes. The payoff with one out. The third, it's a fair ball. Save it first. The speed of Calvin Hewitt. Off the glove of Schroeder. Two and two. It hit him. The head coach for Florida Atlantic, John McCormick, asking for a review. Call's going to stand. Check of the runners. Out on strikes. Trying to close it out. One two pitch. Smash back up the middle for a base hit. Hewitt turns third and comes to the plate. Vanderbilt within a run. The tying run at third, the winning run on base with two outs in the ninth. With two outs in the ninth. Gets loose for a moment, not far enough. Two under Vastine. Fly ball left field. Coming on Millen. It gets down for a base hit, and the Commodores win it. Jonathan Vastine walks it off in the ninth. Drama on opening day as Vanderbilt wins it 12-11. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming either.